Hey Sagittarius, this is Sunny, and I'm here with your April 2017 reading. Now, this is uh, this is the third time I've recorded y'all's video. I don't know if it's me or if I'm just feeling the damn energy, but I'm just tired, and I just want to be outside or go to sleep and eat muffins and cupcakes. This may be the baby talking. I don't know, but I'm just like. Huh. So if you guys, um, if you too find yourself feeling this way, going outside may um, give you guys the energy that you're looking for. I've also said in the previous videos that you guys may resonate with the numbers 2 and 7, whether you're seeing these numbers a lot. Um, or you just may find yourself like buying things of twos or buying things of sevens who knows um but to me two represents having choices um and options um some of you guys uh the focus may be on relationships whether it's personal relationships that you have with your family and friends or love relationships and maybe even the relationship that you have with yourself um in regards to the number seven Many of you guys know that this is the power, okay, maybe the power, um, the number and power of God. Um, some of y'all just want to be to yourself. Um, I'm also hearing divine timing. So understand that timing plays a really big part in everything that you're waiting on and everything that you're doing during this time. I'm also hearing eclipse. I don't know if there's an eclipse this month. Um, if the moon is going to be like an orange or red color. But something about an eclipse. I'm not sure. Um, maybe you guys are watching Twilight Eclipse. Who knows. Um, or there's just going to be a connection to the moon or a cancer within your life. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Give me 10 cards. What's going on for Sagis for April 2017? All right. I am seeing that many of you, um, you, some of y'all just want to start over. Be careful of you doing things to escape reality because this may backfire on you in the long run it just depends upon what you're doing um so i feel for some of y'all you may be running away from your responsibilities or you just don't want to deal with them right now um i feel like this month like you guys just want to either catch up on sleep or catch up on fun uh, people from the past may be coming back as well or lessons from the past may be coming back and i feel that you guys are more interested in what was this month okay um so you may find yourself you know just daydreaming a lot about the past i feel for some of y'all it's it's like you're really thinking things in, into existence so that may be kind of interesting all right so please protect your heart um in any particular relationship that you are dealing with i feel for me some of y'all it's like you can't let go of something It's like you want to spend as much time with it as you can. Um, or you may be dealing with somebody who can't let the past go. And it's just like they're always bringing up something. Or somebody may feel this way about you. You know, just flip it to how it resonates with you. And there's this sense of like we're going through the same shit over and over again. We have the same conversation. Why can't you just let this go? This has happened like five months ago. Or some of y'all may be petty and maybe telling this person, this happened five days ago. Why can't you just get over it? <laughs> or somebody may be saying this about you. Um, but I, I do see um, where some of y'all, you may be burning bridges this month um, out of anger. So if you are going to burn a bridge uh, with somebody or like in communication completely, just make sure you're doing it for a right cause and be mindful that we are in mercury retrograde 
and this person will honestly bring their ass back into your life again uh, within August or September. So if you do cut people off, I suggest that you, you know, you wait a little bit. You can do what you want. It's your life. You can do what you want. But, you know, this person does have the ability to come back. I also see where um, finances is going to be the focus as well. It seems like either love or finances for some of y'all may be the focus. Some of y'all do want to spend time to yourself to um, reflect and understand what's going on within your life. Um, I do see where you guys are going to have deep regret on overspending. Okay. Or um, you're feeling sorry for yourself at how much you've been overspending um, throughout the past months or years. I also feel where the focus, um, some of y'all are thinking about going back to school, but it's just like, I don't know when I want to or what I want to do. Some of y'all may sign up for uh, four classes. I do see that there may be some uh, issues at work in regards to gossip um, or feeling like you have to defend yourself. And this may not even be at work. I just feel like there is a sense of, you know, feeling like you have to protect yourself, feeling like you are just on pins and needles about something. I don't know if you guys are low key um, expecting for a fight to happen or you, you know, just have the energy that you need to defend yourself at all costs. Um, but this can cause for some of y'all to be paranoid and you may take your anger out on the wrong person. So understand where this energy is coming from and um, let it go. Some of y'all may be dealing with a very manipulative person. Or some of y'all may be manipulative yourselves. And you're trying to get what you want during this time. I do see where there may be some issues with plans not going um, as you would hoped. And now you're trying to settle for plan C. Um, I'm also picking up where um, some of you guys, there seems to be an energy with not really understanding where another person is coming from. Um, either you just don't want to understand where they're coming from because you feel like their emotions don't matter or somebody may be feeling this way about you or you just feel like this person is being too sensitive about a particular situation. I do see where some of you guys, there's there's some confusion going on. Um, get out of your head is, is what I'm saying the most with this. Like with you overthinking, just thinking the worst and not really knowing what to do. Get, get out of this. I do see where many of you, you're just going to feel like your opinion is right or, you know, what you want is the best. Um, and this may cause some conflict with others during this time, okay? Um, I'm also picking up that uh, you guys, um, you may be on this quest of just wanting to understand your path and, you know, understand why, why you're here and how you can impact other people's lives. Some of you all may be really talking about um, donating the charities or if you are doing this, you know, that's awesome. Um, but you just want to like change the world in a positive way um, or the world uh, issues that's going on within the world may be affecting you and your energy during this time, depending upon where you're living and where your family is. Um, I'm also seeing where there may be some issues in regards to racism, um, whether you experience this personally or you're witnessing this yourself. Um, and I'm also picking up like discrimination to like the sex, maybe, um, my women, something like a strong message with my women. Maybe you feel degraded by men or you feel like, you know, a man isn't appreciating you because you are a woman. This may sound kind of weird, but this is what I'm picking up. For some reason, I'm seeing a scenario of a black guy. Telling a black woman, oh, I don't like y'all black bitches anyway. I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm seeing this. So maybe my black or women of color, you know, you're you're being discriminated uh, by your own race. So that's, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. So, yeah. Especially if you, yeah, especially if you're trying to date.
Oh Lord. Okay, so just be careful who you're dating. I do see that there may be some issues, you know, because you don't want to have sex with this person. Or you don't want to do what this person says. This may be in regards to dating or just maybe um, issues at work. Where so somebody, you know, may say, oh, this is why I don't like white women. Or this is why I don't like black women. This is why I don't like Asian women. Like, And I feel like it's someone of the same race. And there may be cases of it being a different race. Who knows? But I, I don't know why I just saw that scenario of this black man talking to a, another um, black female. Like downgrading her. Okay, anyway. Um, some of you guys may be dealing with a Gemini or you have Gemini within your chart. I do see where if you are dealing with a Gemini or you have this energy within your chart where you want to just get back on track. You want to feel empowered. You want to feel important. Um, you want to feel like you matter. So this may be why um, there's this, you know, wanting to get ahead, like not really caring what other people think during this time because you have this particular goal of when you want to get back on track or when you um or when you just want to feel good again i am seeing where there's a lot of tired energy right now and some of y'all do need more sleep and some of y'all are stressing over money during this time you're stressing um with school i do see um moving as well but it's like you're moving for the wrong reason. I don't know if you're if you're moving for, um, and I hate to say it like that. Um, some of y'all may, may be moving for a relationship, but it's kind of like you're doing it because somebody else is doing it. Maybe your roommate is moving and you have to move with them because you know that you can't afford, you know, rent on your own. Or, you know, you're moving with a partner. Um, but I just feel like you really don't, like you want to change. But this particular move isn't all the way for you. Like, some of y'all are just piggybacking with somebody. Okay, yeah. Sure, I can count. I do see where many of you, um, you're definitely walking away or you're just... Some of y'all are just not paying attention too much to your responsibilities during this time. Like you you just want to get away. Things that don't make sense. Things that are just like, I don't care right now. Like you just don't want to deal with it. And you don't even care what it is. Like I hate to be like this. Like maybe some of y'all don't, don't really want to deal with your kids. And you're just like, hey, can y'all watch them for a little bit? Y'all may be watching TV and telling your little babies to go play. <laughs> I just feel like y'all just don't want to be bothered at all because you have so much on your mind. Some of y'all feel like you you don't really know where you're going. It's just like you're walking, but like you're walking on your path and you're like, okay, what? Why am I here? What what am I doing? I, I don't know. I feel lost. Y'all, we are in so many retrogrades. It's not even funny. So don't don't feel bad. Don't don't feel bad. Just know that this will pass in due time, okay? Y'all just want to have fun this month. I do. And I'm but I'm also seeing where if you do take the time to be to yourself, if you do take the time to reflect, this will allow for you to be open. Some of y'all may have um, some psychic awareness where like your third eye is really opening. Some of y'all are honestly going through spiritual accession where it's much spiritual accession to me. I have a video on this um, with me going through a spiritual session. Um, it's more intense than a spiritual awakening and spiritual sessions like like you you just don't want to be bothered like it seems like nothing is going right you don't know what to do 
you like lord why am i going through this right now like you have constant headaches your third eye is hurting there may be more interactions with spirits maybe your dreams are you know weirder um they're stronger like it's just something about your dreams and you know your intuition that's just like different um you may find yourself like having your own like everybody has their own elect uh, electrical uh, current but you may be discovering that like everything shocks you like light switches um doorknobs your car handles um just everything that is of metal or has electricity is shocking you um so some of y'all may be dealing with this but you just don't know how to handle it i am seeing where some of y'all like you want to get more into spirituality or your religion and like just understand like you you just want to connect with a higher being that's what i'm seeing as well for many of you maybe you know you've you've gotten off track or like you feel um maybe you fell off with religion if you were religious um and you let maybe everyday life <laughs> you know get between you and your connection that you have with your divine god and angels and it's like you're trying to rush back into, you know, being in this peaceful state of mind, being connected to God, listening um, and having messages from your divine God and angels. Because I'm seeing where something important stopped and you want to go back to that. You want to feel loved again. Whether this is with your connection with your divine God or just um, with love relationships. Like, you, let me pull out this last damn card. Yeah. Okay, so kind of funny. I did talk about this. Um, there is definitely talks of moving or thoughts of moving. Men, once again, some of y'all are really going through like this weird spiritual session that I talked about. I do see where communication can be like really tricky because it seems like everybody has their own opinion. Um, it seems like people aren't really getting along with how they feel about particular situations. And I'm seeing the energy of somebody wanting to wanting to debate or you wanting to debate or there's a sense of arguing. If you do find yourself surrounded by people who just want to argue all the time, people who don't want to listen, um, or just, they always come to you with gossip. Like, oh, he, guess who said this? Guess who said this about you? Guess what so-and-so was doing? And it's just like, girl, I don't give a fuck. Why you coming to me with that? You may need to kind of separate yourself from people like that. Because this person is on a low vibration or, you know, this person just likes seeing you mad. Some of y'all may have a connection to somebody who finds humor in you getting mad or you going off. So be careful of people taking you as a joke as well. I'm I'm just getting the energy where it's like you guys are just rushing back. It's like you want to go back to that point where, you know, things were stable, where you felt love, where, where you felt just positive energy. Like, you guys just want to go back to that. But I'm seeing where you guys are running, you're running, you're running, and then you're going to come to the conclusion of, okay, where am I running to? What am I running to? Some of y'all kind of forgotten why you've done something in the first place. Like, I'm getting the energy of like, you, you've lost the meaning of something. Or maybe you're searching for the meaning of life. I'm also seeing where... You guys just want to get ahead within career. Some of y'all have like two or three jobs. And you're going to school on top of that. And it's just like, I want to rest. Like, you know, I, I'm doing all this. I just, I just need to take some time out for me. But it seems like y'all are just... 
I don't want to say you're abusing that time, but it's just like you're letting it go on and go on and go on. You're like, oh, I'll do this later. I'll do this tomorrow. I'll do my homework tomorrow. Some of y'all may even be calling out of work just to sleep or just to like hang out with people. Now, I will say this, and this may be kind of personal, but I'm just going to be honest. Um, I don't know why I'm getting the energy of herpes. Um, whether this is somebody new coming into your life that has it or somebody who already has it. But I'm also getting the message of if, you know, you do have a new fuck buddy, um, be aware of somebody saying, oh, I don't like using condoms and they don't want to have sex with the lights on. I, don't, I know that's like, what the fuck? I, I guess that was a particular message for somebody in general. Um, so, you know, just, just be aware of somebody like that. Because there are people like that who know that they have something. And they may be in the process of breaking out or healing. And, you know, they've been diagnosed with something. Or they know something's not right with their vagina or their dick. And, you know, they may be like, well, I'm horny, so I'm just going to fuck real quick. And, you know, you may find yourself in a hard place, like, a couple months later. So, you know, just protect yourself when somebody says, oh, I don't like fucking with condoms. Or, you know, and if, like, you never had sex with them before, and they just want to have sex. Like, oh, just regardless if they want to have sex in dark light, mid light, green light, whatever. Like, just protect yourself always. Because um, I'm just seeing a big vibe for protection. Whether this is spiritual protection or just physical protection. I'm also picking up where some of y'all are going to be hit by something like something like side swipe you uh, be careful of uh, cars during this time. So there may be some accidents, maybe road rage. Uh, so maybe some of y'all will get hit. Um, for some reason, I'm picking up like softball, tennis ball, like being hit with the ball. Um, maybe y'all may be fighting and like you get hit with a jab. Who knows? Um, but there is a sense of like just getting quickly hit like you wasn't expecting it at all. Let me see. The outcome of April 2017 for Sagittarius. The outcome of April 2017 for Sagittarius. First card on the top. Power. This is the strength card. Really interesting. So my Sagittarius, you guys do need to be aware of your power and how much and how much energy you hold during this time. I'm also picking up something uh, in regards to forbidden. Maybe there's aspects about yourself that are forbidden during this time because you need to gain proper knowledge. Or you may be dealing with other situations that you cannot reach during this time because, once again, you do not have the proper knowledge of it. Some of y'all may be... Um, I'm feeling the energy of like feeling chained, feeling um, feeling like you're in handcuffs. Some of y'all may be um, chaining yourself to someone. This person may be a Leo, or they have strong Leo within their chart. I feel like if you are dealing with a Leo. Um, maybe another fire sign who knows but there's strong energy with Leo maybe this person is running away from you or you're running away from this person and the other person or you whatever is chasing like no come back come back I'm also getting the energy um, that you guys need to be mindful okay I'm also getting a Aries some of y'all may be dealing with an Aries or you have Aries within your chart. If you have Aries within your chart, you may be chasing after someone or you're chasing after a particular opportunity or maybe this Aries chasing after you. Who knows, honey? Um, but there is a sense of letting your wisdom guide, guide you. Letting your future self take control. Because I'm seeing that right now. Some of y'all are going back to your past ways where you aren't taking things seriously, where, you know, you, you aren't maturing. Um, 
and your future self is just like no you came a long way why do you want to backtrack why why do you want to do this to yourself i do feel like there may be um issues of suicide whether you're thinking about it or you're or you know somebody who takes their own life but some a gun like putting a gun to their face or maybe some of y'all are seeing this like you're looking down the barrel of a gun or maybe you feel this way like maybe you're being fucked by life where like you know you're saying to yourself life isn't fair but if you do hear about a suicide um i feel like this person really didn't want to do it i mean I i'm just telling you guys what i'm feeling i feel like you know this person really didn't want to end their life it was like as soon as that bullet was coming out they were like no no i don't I don't I take this back I don't want to do this no more because I'm picking up within that split second they realized that they could have been something great or they could have helped somebody else with their life and I just feel like I feel like this is a this is a male like a young male um I feel like there's a sense of him being bullied or just Feeling lost, not really having anybody to talk to, and just wishing. Oh, I don't. I don't know why I'm crying, or like why I want to cry, or realize like, or hoping that somebody would just like ask him, "Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong with you?" I feel like his mom. His mom is like really devastated, cause his mom knew that he was sad. But she didn't know that he was this sad. And I'm getting the energy of like a stepdad. He did this with his stepdad's gun. Um, His stepdad was always working. Or his stepdad, you know, didn't pay attention to him. I just feel like the family was always busy. And he just, he just wanted somebody to talk to. I'm also getting the energy of him saying something about a dog. I don't know if um they had a dog. Or he had a dog when he was young. But something about wondering if dogs, you know, go to heaven. There's a sense of either wanting to connect or reconnecting with a dog. Um, the, the dogs, like chocolate, maybe a chocolate lab, caramel lab. Like it's, it's a brown colored dog um, with light brown eyes. This this little boy, he's he's telling me something about a tornado. Um where? Something about Utah, like in the Utah area. So he may be from Utah, um, I'm not sure. Or he just may be telling me about this. Um But yeah, there's a tornado. I feel like this is fresh because or he's just like everything just seems so fresh to him because I'm seeing investigation like they are investigating his mom wanting to know like what happened what went wrong and like the mom she's a large woman they seem Caucasian to me um the mom's large and she has like lightly curled brownish hair his name may be michael like first middle or last or this may like this may be the city where they lived in like maybe saint michael um i'm not sure but the michael keeps um sticking out to me the most um he's also telling me that the mom has knee problems as well I don't know if it's because of her weight or if she fell on her knee um, a while back. 
Um, it's a, he's saying it's a combination of both. His mom's name may be Helen or Heather. But yeah, this is this is random. But thank thank you for coming through. I have to end this video chat. I do. I'm sorry. But he's he's all he's also saying someone died at a lake like camp. Someone died at camp. Someone drowned. An old friend of his drowned at camp. Or he was very close to drowning at camp too. A blonde headed kid. But he's telling me a blonde headed kid did die. But he could have died too at camp. Either camp or at a lake. I feel like a lot of children were there. And that, that blonde headed boy was just tired of being abused. Alright but thank you. Thank you once again for coming. It means a lot. Sorry, sorry I had to cut that short. But I know that was random for like me to end this video like that. But hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything and I shall be back for May.